The Sacred Herbs of Spring by Ellen Everett Hopman. Um, magical healing and other edible plants to celebrate Beltane. Um, at the time of like of me like reading this and record and then recording this, because like there was time difference in this. Um, I've only seen this and the Samhain book she's done. I actually had the copy of the Samhain one, but um, I've been really looked into if she's done the other um, Sabbaths, but if you do have an interest in Samhain or Beltane and like herbs connecting to, to either one, um, these can be a really decent um, book to have a look at if you want specifics to a certain Sabbath. Um, so, and like you get like images you would see in like old botanical type of books. But like part one, useful primers for this book. So like um, understanding Celtic cosmos cosmology, a primer on fairies and helpful spirits, and a primer on herbal preparation. So part one is kind of um, a smaller section. Part two, the magical herbs of Beltane. So like with in this and like the other one, um, the herbs are divided up into different like categories. So herbs for the fairies, elves, and spirits, herbs of protection, Courage and Clarity, and a few others um, sections there. Part three, Traditions, Rites, and Foods of Beltane. So, um, yeah, the main focus is the herbs, but you do get a bit of um, other information as well. Um, traditions, Rites, and Foods, they get their own little section. Um, not little, there's about 10 pages per um, one. So uh, notes, other books and resources by the author, index of plants by their common name, and then the index by their scientific name. So either or, and then you get a general index. Um, three worlds, plant spirit charms, where to find high quality herbs, how to make tea, Dosages, cautions, are um, a few of the topics in part one. Um, so, so like sacred war woods, um, an intro, and then it goes into um, the item. So this one's um, alder, and then you get like the scientific name underneath information. Um, so like these gray boxes are mainly like the caution type of stuff. Um, uh, Alder at Beltane, so you kind of like, um, had to bring that into that, um, Sabbath and then goes right into the next, um, item. Sometimes you'll get like recipes, so like, If you see it, start like that, you know there's like, that's the recipe. Um, so elm, hazel, so like you get, do you get some um, different types of information, things to do or use that item, um, use it in some way. Um, you get like the recipes, um, of course you always get that blank at Beltane, so how to use it, but you do sometimes, um, some you'll get, um, other things as well in the main section. 
Um, of course, I'm not getting it, but um, so like traditional Beltane customs in Scotland and Ireland. Um, rights, foods, um, so, it's a decent book to have a look at if Beltane is one of the Sabbaths that, um, you celebrate, because, like, not all pagans or, like, Celtic persons would celebrate it, but, um, or if you want to know more or have that herbal um, wanting that more herbal connection or wanting to like time of the year kind of um, living but um, this can be a really great resource for some people um, whether it's the on the herbal side or the wanting to know more on Beltane um, specifics so yeah the sacred herbs of spring happy readings